Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Ming Fu. Um, I'm a PhD student, student from Huazhong University of Science and Technology. Today, my talk is about the design trade-offs for data duplication performance in backup workloads. Uh, this is a joint work with the researchers listed here. Um, today, we are living in big data era. Um, IDC reported that we have 4.4 gigabyte of digital data in 2013. And uh, expectedly, we will have 40, uh, 44 gigabyte of data in 2020. And moreover, many researchers from industry and academic have reported the wide existence of data redundancy in real world applications. So we can use com compression technologies to, to improve the storage efficiency. And uh, data duplication is a scalable compression technology, um, different from traditional compression technologies such as GZIP. Um, data duplication um, is, is faster due to its coarse grain compression, and because it, it is it's faster and more comp, uh, scalable, it can it looks for it is able to look looks for uh, duplicated trunks in a larger scope uh, for higher compression ratio. And this figure show, illustrates a um, typical duplication system. Um, the back the backup stream will be uh, first divided into the trunk engine will divide the fact, uh, backup stream into non-overlapping trunks, and then the hash engine will calculate the fingerprints for each trunk. Then we, we, we check the fingerprints in the in DRAM fingerprint cache. If we find a match, it's a duplicated trunk. Otherwise, we further check it in the key value store. Uh, and if we find a match, it is a duplicated trunk. Otherwise, it's a unique trunk. For each duplicated trunk, we, need to, we, we, only, we only need to write a, re, a fingerprint to the recipe. And for a unique trunk, we need to write the trunk to the container store, insert the fingerprint into the key value store, and write the fingerprint to a recipe. Um, in order to design an efficient duplication system, we have a lot of um, challenges to be addressed, including trunking, indexing, defragmenting, restoring, garbage collecting, and uh, as a result, we have a huge number of papers, solutions, and design choices. And uh, we got a huge, um, extremely huge parameter space. Uh, uh, in practice, it is very difficult to determine uh, which one is better, and better in what metric. And moreover, how about their um, interplace? So in this paper, we will first uh, propose a taxonomy to help researchers to understand the parameter space in the duplication system, and then we uh, design and implement a general purpose duplication framework for evaluation. And finally, we present our experimental results and draw conclusions. Uh, in this paper, we mainly explore the fingerprint index, the rewriting algorithm, the restore algorithm, and their interplace, and the table lists uh, the major parameters we discuss, including the key value mapping, the fingerprint cache, the sampling, segmenting, segment selection, segment prefetching, defragmenting, and restoring. However, um, however, due to the time limits, I cannot go through all these parameters in this talk. You can find more details uh, in the paper. Um, a duplication system requires a huge key value store to identify duplicates. However, um, an in-memory key value store is not cost efficient. Uh, I build, we, uh, we build a financial cost model in our paper using the uh, unit prices from M Amazon. Uh, we found um, if we keep the key store in DRAM, uh, about up more than 50% of, of the storage cost is for DRAM. So alternatively, we can keep the key store on disks. However, it becomes easily, uh, it easily becomes the performance bottleneck compared to the fast container-defined trunking algorithm. So modern fingerprint indexes and explore the workloads characteristics of backup systems to prefetch and cache fingerprints. Hence, a modern fingerprint index consists of two major components, a key value store and a fingerprint prefetching and a caching module. Um, based on the two mod components, we propose a taxonomy for fingerprint index. Um, based on the use of key value store, we have exact duplication and a new exact duplication. In exact duplication, uh, we Index. In, we try to we index, we index all fingerprints in the system in the key value store, um, um, and we, we try to eliminate all thing, all duplicated trunk all duplicated trunks. The new exact duplication uses some sampling methods to 
partially index the fingerprints to reduce the uh, size of the key value store. Um, and based on the prefetching policy, we have logical locality and a physical locality. The logical locality is the uh, trunk sequence before um, deduplication, which is preserved in recipes. Uh, and the physical locality is the physical layout of stored trunks, which can be, co it can, it can be considered as the um, se fingerprint sequence after deduplication, which is preserved in containers. <coughs> Let's first compile the exact duplication and the new exact duplication. Exact duplication indexes all stored fingerprints, so its index is extremely huge. Um, we generally uh, need to keep the key value store on disks for storage savings, uh, for cost savings. So the pre fingerprint prefetching and caching is very important to improve backup throughput. Um, the new exact duplication indexes only sampled fingerprints, so its key value store is very small, and we can keep it in, in a DRAM. The fingerprint prefetching is very important to improve the deduplication ratio. Uh, in summary, new exact duplication trace deduplication ratio for higher backup and restore performance and a lower memory footprint. From the aspect of financial cost, uh, uh, whether a lower memory footprint indicates a lower financial cost, uh, we, uh, we found it is not true because uh, uh, based on our cost model, new exact duplication needs to achieve 97 percent of the duplication ratio in exact duplication, and uh, based on our experimental results, it's, it, it is extremely difficult um, to explore with physical locality. Um, the key value store maps a fingerprint to its physical location, namely a container ID. Uh, this figure illustrates the, uh, w the workflow. Uh, for each input fingerprint, we, further, we first check it in the fingerprint cache. If we, if we, don't, find, we don't find a match, we further check it in the Kivala store. Uh, and uh, if we find a match, find a match we, we know uh, which container the trunk locates. So we can prefetch all fingerprints in the container into the fingerprint, fingerprint cache. And the weakness of this approach is that the prefetching efficiency um, decreases over time due to the fragmentation problem. For example, older containers will have many useless fingerprints for uh, new, new backups. Um, it indicates the backup throughput will uh, decrease over time in, uh, in, in, this, in this kind of system. For new exact duplication, a problem is how to uh, select representative fingerprints in each container. Generally, we have two basic uh, approaches. The first is to select the fingerprints that mode R is zero in a container or we can select the thing first fingerprint, every R fingerprint in your container. The R is um, the sampling ratio, is the sampling ratio. Um, based on our observations, the second sampling method is, it achieves significantly better deduplication ratio than the first um, method. And to explore its logical locality, uh, the key value store maps the fingerprints into its logical location, uh, namely a segment in a recipe. In this case, the recipe is divided into non-overlapping segments, um, and the segment serves as, serves, um, serves as the prefetching unit. The workflow is uh, slightly different from the uh, physical locality. When we find a match in the key value store, we, we load the recipe, in, we, load, we load a segment in a recipe uh, into the fingerprint cache. The advantage is we have no fragmentation problem in this approach, however, its weakness is we have an extremely high update overhead to the key value store. It is because not only um, unique fingerprints, but also the duplicate fingerprints will have logical locations um, in, new, they, they, they will, uh, in new recipes and new segments. One possible optimization is to only update sample duplicate fingerprints uh, to reduce the update overhead. Um, to, uh, not to, 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 uh, not, uh, two major problems uh, is how to segment and sampling. Uh, we, we, in, the in the paper, we, uh, um, we examine the different se segment, segment, segmenting algorithms and sampling algorithms, and we also observe uh, uh, a performance um, problem of this approach uh, in some data sets where several references are very common. Uh, such as uh, the, uh, our virtual machine data set. Uh, so in, 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 uh, in this kind of data set, we recommend to uh, uh, in, 
uh, explore with a more complicated workflow than uh, the, this simple workflow shown in the, in the figure, uh, namely the similarity detection approach. Uh, actually, in logical locality, we have a lot of parameters and uh, design choices, uh, including the segmenting, sampling, segment selection, segment prefetching, and key value mapping. And the table uh, summarizes existing work. Existing work. And we have a detailed discussion in the paper about the uh, design choices and their com combinations. And the rewriting algorithm is an emerging uh, dimension uh, in duplication system uh, to, reduce the uh, to reduce the fragmentation. The, uh, the fragmentation is an intrinsic problem in duplication system. Uh, uh, it can be considered as the deviation between the logical locality and the physical locality. It will hurt the, the read performance. So in an ageless duplication system, its read performance is very poor. And this figure sh uh, shows the, uh, uh, how rewriting algorithms work. And rewriting algorithm tries to uh, find a, a fragmented trunk during backup. And if we identify a, a trunk as fragmented, we will rewrite it into a new physical location rather than duplicating it. We, have, we, we currently have uh, some rewriting algorithms, in, um, two kinds of um, rewriting algorithms, the buffer-based algorithm and the history of well algorithm. The buffer-based algorithm uses a rewriting buffer to hold consecutive backup, uh, consecutive trunks, and identify uh, fragmented trunks in, in the context in the scope of the buffer. And the history of well algorithm explore uh, uh, the historical information to identify fragmented chunks. Uh, the ba uh, their basic observation um, is uh, the consecutive backup stream are very similar. So a fragmented trunk rem uh, in this backup remains uh, fragmented in the next backup. So uh, however, uh, all of these a previous work on rewriting algorithms assume a simple fingerprint index without considering the fingerprint prefetching. Um, so how about their interplays with the state-of-the-art state fingerprint indexes? We, mainly, uh, we are mainly concerned about two uh, questions. The first is how does the rewriting algorithm improve the fingerprint index in exploring in physical locality? And the second is how do the different prefetching schemes affect the efficiency of the rewriting algorithm? We will answer these two questions uh, later. Uh, the, um, the risk algorithm, um, algorithm try, um, is to uh, reconstruct a backup stream uh, uh, efficiently, uh, while the rewriting algorithm determines the chunk layout, uh, determines how to write, and the risk algorithm determines how to read. Uh, 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 an efficient risk algorithm uh, will improve the risk performance under limited memory. Uh, we, uh, existing restore algorithms, including the traditional area cache, the Bellady's optimal replacement cache, and the rolling forward assembly area. So, and, uh, and uh, we, we, we will examine their interplays with the rewriting algorithm. Uh, we have briefly discussed the uh, parameter space. Uh, ho however, uh, as far as we know, uh, none of the existing platform um, can evaluate the entire parameter space. So uh, we, develop, we develop a general purpose framework to, uh, for evaluation. Uh, this figure illustrates the, uh, the, the architecture of our framework, including a fingerprint index, container store, and a rest of, uh, and the recipe store. Uh, it also shows the backup pipeline, uh, including a trunk, trunk phase, hash phase, dedupe phase, rewrite phase, filter phase, and append phase. The trunk phase will divide the stream into trunks. The hash phase will calculate fingerprints. The dedupe phase will check the, uh, will examine the du duplicates in the backup stream. The rewrite phase um, will identify fragmented duplicate trunks. The filter phase determines whether, uh, whether we need to write the trunk according to the flags marked by the previous two phases. The, uh, we separate we, we separate the dedupe phase, rewrite phase, and filter phase uh, for modularity. Uh, so we can implement a new rewriting algorithms in the rewrite phase without the need of uh, modifying the fingerprint index and vice versa. This this is the restore pipeline. The uh, read the first phase, uh, read the recipe phase, reads the recipe and uh, of of 
reads the open and reads the uh, recipe for re recovery and uh, out and feeds the fingerprints fingerprint sequence to with the uh, next phase. The um, second phase, restore algorithm algorithm phase, will receive the fingerprints and f and fetch chunks from the container store, um, uh, and it will feed uh, the chunks to trunk sequence with the, to the sec uh, next phase. We can implement different restore algorithms in this phase. In the last phase, the uh, phase we are reconstruct the fire uh, fires uh, using the received uh, trunk sequence. And uh, regarding the garbage collection problem, uh, users can set a retention time for the backups. So um, all expired backups will be deleted automatically by different. And uh, then how to reclaim the invalid trunks becomes a major challenge. We develop, we develop some algorithms to accelerate the garbage, garbage collection, and the more details can be found in our ATC paper. And uh, using the D frame uh, framework, we can evaluate the parameter space to find uh, um, an existing um, um, solutions and potential solutions can be considered as a point in the space. We can evaluate each point uh, in the space to find uh, which one is, is better and better in what metrics. And we use th uh, three data sets for evaluation, including kernel, uh, VMDK, and RDB. Kernel consists of 258 um, versions of Linux, Linux kernel source code. And the VMDK consists of 127 consecutive snap snapshots of a virtual machine disk imaging. And the RDB consists of two 212 consecutive snapshots of a Redis database. Uh, the R RDB data set is very different from the other two uh, data sets because it, it's the self references is very common in this uh, data set and uh, uh, it's, uh, it's in the, the results in this data set is very different from the other two data sets. And we use the following quantitative metrics to eva uh, for evaluation including deduplication ratio and memory footprint, storage cost, lookup and update requests to kill store per gigabyte and restore speed. However, it is practically to find a, a solution that performs the best in all metrics. Uh, so we aim to find a solution with the following properties. Um, it must have um, certain high backup performance as, a, as the top priority, and uh, it performs the reasonable trade-offs in the remaining metrics. <laughs> These two figures uh, compels the exact indication uh, two kinds of exact duplication in terms of lookup overheads and update overheads. Um, in the left figure, uh, the red line shows the ever increasing lookup overheads in, in, in physical locality um, due to, uh, because of the fragmentation problem. Uh, on the contrary, the logical locality um, have a much certain low lookup overhead. overhead. Uh, and uh, the right figure shows the, uh, shows the, however, the logical locality have a, a significantly higher update overhead than the physical locality, but the sampling optimization is very efficient to reduce the update overhead without, uh, increase the, uh, without increasing the lookup overhead. Uh, These two figures uh, compels the new exact duplication um, two kinds of near exact, exact duplication in terms of uh, duplication ratio. Uh, they explore is either physical locality and, uh, or, or logical locality. Um, and in the, uh, we, um, uh, our observation is that in the kernel and RDB data sets, the, the logical locality um, achieves a, a, a better duplication ratio than uh, physical locality, however, uh, in the VMDK data set, uh, the physical locality achieves a better duplication ratio than logical locality. This is because self-references are very common in VMDK data set. So uh, we, recommend, we recommend a com more complicated workflow in um, uh, VMDK data set to explore the logical locality, um, uh, namely the similarity detection approach. And these two figure uh, shows the interplays between fingerprint index and the rewriting algorithm. Um, uh, in the left figure, the red line 
uh, shows an uh, ever incre ever increasing um, um, lookup overheads in physical locality, and uh, um, but with uh, with the help of a rewriting algorithm, here uh, the blue line achieves a more sustained and a lower lookup overhead. It is because the rewriting algorithm reduced the reduce the, the fragmentation. And in the right figure, uh, we examine how does the fingerprint index affect the rewriting algorithm. Um, uh, we examine the duplication ratio um, of rewriting algorithms under the four kinds of fingerprint indexes, and we find that the, ex the, physical, the exact duplication exploring physical locality achieves the hi highest duplication ratio in all of these um, data sets. So um, our conclusion is that exact duplication exploring the physical locality has the best interplay with the rewriting algorithm. Um, this figure explores the, explores the interplay between rewriting and uh, restore, restoring algorithm. Um, um, we, uh, the y-axis shows the restore speed. Um, uh, without the rewriting algorithm, har, we, we've, we've observed that uh, the assembly area, uh, the forward assembly area uh, technique achieves the best restore performance, but with an efficient rewriting algorithm, har, the uh, ability is optimal replacement cache achieves the best restore performance. Uh, we, we don't show all of our experimental results in, the, in, the, in this talk. And uh, uh, you can find more results and findings in our paper. And so let's conclude our, our paper. Uh, in, in our paper, we first propose a taxonomy to understand the parameter space of data duplication. Um, and then we design and implement a framework uh, to evaluate the parameter space. And, uh, and other researchers also can implement their new ideas in the framework for evaluation. It enables apple-to-apple -apple comparisons between uh, existing solutions and uh, potential solutions. And finally, we present our res experimental results and uh, draw the following recommendation, uh, recommendations. As, uh, because, uh, as mentioned previously, no single solutions can perform best in all metrics, so we recommend uh, different solutions according to users' demand. Um, for example, if we need the lowest uh, storage cost and the highest duplication ratio, we really recommend the exact duplication exploring the logical locality with the container-defined segmenting and the random sampling configurations. Uh, if, you, if we need the lowest memory footprint, we recommend the new exact duplication uh, and uh, we explore its physical locality uh, for its simplest logical frame and uh, explore its logical locality for its relatively higher duplication ratio. Um, and if we need a, a certain high restore performance, we recommend uh, uh, exact duplication in exploring the physical locality because it has the um, best uh, interplay with the uh, rewriting algorithm. Um, so, uh, thank you for your attention, and uh, I would like to take your questions. Thank you. Mark Lulbridge, HP Labs. I actually have two comments rather than questions. First, I think the data sets you're using are not sufficient to actually evaluate fragmentation properly. In the real world, when, for example, you're combining backups of thousands of machines, there's a lot of similarity across machines. And so simple rewriting algorithms that assume that, well, if the backup looked like this yesterday, it'll look roughly the same tomorrow, don't actually work because there's so much similarity across machines. So I would take a lot of the results involving rewriting and fragmentation in your work with a, a truckload of salt. Um, second. It is true that if you keep parameters like the chunking size the same, that the conclusions about storage cost you, you um, list and memory fingerprint are co correct. But that's not what people do in practice, right? You have parameters like the chunking size you can change. And so I could choose a small memory fingerprint, or I could make a bigger memory fingerprint and improve my dedupe ratio. And so I think some of the conclusions there, are if you actually allow fully varying things, don't follow either. OK, thanks. Regarding the first question, question um, our Data sets are commonly used in previous work. Um, the first kernel. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, regarding the second uh, question, you can uh, in the evaluation we use the same 
uh, trunk size uh, in all in in all these data sets and in, uh, to evaluate all solutions. You can you say you you, you claim you can uh, uh, decrease the trunk size, but in some kinds of fingerprint indexes, but uh, uh, reducing the trunk size. Also, reducing trunk size potentially can improve the duplication ratio, but it increases the uh, the overhead of the recipe. It's it's it, um, it's it's a trade-off. I'm not claiming. Sorry, sorry. They're, they're gonna buy it. Yeah. And I'm afraid we we don't have time for another question. We run over. So let's thank the speaker again. Thank you.